This is Andrew from AMI Customs. What we're going to be talking about today is the SSP uh, clutch master cylinder conversion for the 2008 through 2010 model Evo 10s. Um, what we have here is the factory master cylinder. Um, what we're going to be showing you today is some tips and tricks on how to install this um, properly without having any damage done to the installation of the upgraded new master cylinder seals or plunger and bore assemblies. Um, first and foremost, you're going to want to remove the factory plastic master cylinder out of the car um, as there is some uh, disassembly that needs to take place. First, remove the firewall seal off of the factory master cylinder. You're going to want to inspect the seal to make sure there's no rips or tears in this seal. Um, as you can see, the seal is perfectly fine, so we'll be reusing this. Next you're going to want to disassemble the factory master cylinder. Um, the two parts that you retain on this is the internal spring and the plastic plunger arm um, if uh, you have selected um, to not upgrade to the aluminum arm. Um, you'll be reusing the plastic arm. Compress the master cylinder up against the firm object and use um, a screwdriver to pop the clip out of the master cylinder. Remove the clip and the master cylinder comes apart. Pull the plastic plunger out and just drop the spring out and then set the uh, master cylinder aside, the plastic one. Um, next on to the uh, SSP master cylinder. Um, this uh, comes shipped with the uh, plunger already uh, installed in the inside of the master cylinder. Um, you're going to want to use a screwdriver or something just to push that out. As you can see, we've installed our actual reservoir uh, banjo bolt and uh, banjo fittings um, on the top of the master cylinder. Um, you're just going to want to uh, use the banjo bolt and uh, the brass washers that are supplied, um, one on either side of the banjo fitting, and just snug this down with an open end wrench. It doesn't need to be overly tight. Um, just be aware that you're screwing this into a, an aluminum assembly so it doesn't take much to strip this out and cause damage to it and um, then it won't seal correctly. Uh, both bolts are the same um, so there's no possible way to confuse which one goes on which end. Next you're going to want to set the master cylinder upright like so. Take the spring that you removed from your factory master cylinder and just drop it into the assembly. Um, if you're retaining the plastic arm, um, we'll go through that assembly uh, first on how to install that. Uh, take the plunger um, assembly and you're going to want to, uh, it's not 100% necessary, but it's a good idea to lubricate both seals um, before installation. just eases uh, the process of installing this into the master cylinder. Um, we just use a white lithium spray grease. Just put a light coating on either seal. doesn't have to be very much. Next you're just going to take the plunger assembly with the dimpled out end of the assembly um, facing up towards you like so and the concave part um, that's just slightly recessed in um, going into the master cyl cylinder uh, assembly. To set this on top like so, um, what I want to show you here is that there's quite a bit of play as you can see. Um, with it not even pushed in, it's just resting here. This is the part where you want to make sure that this goes in perfectly straight. Take very little force. All I'm using is my thumb here. Okay, and you can see how 
if I don't apply correct pressure, it's going to try to move from one side to the other. So use your hand to stabilize. Just barely push down. Take very little effort. Okay. You're going to want to check the assembly now to make sure that the spring can push the plunger back out with no effort. If there's any kind of binding, any kind of, uh, doesn't seem like it's working correctly, take the whole assembly back out, try and lubricate the seals again, and try to reinstall. Okay. Now push it down into the second seal compresses. Take the plastic plunger arm, if this is the one that you selected to reuse. Compress all the way. And now take your set pins and install into the holes, as you can see here. There's one set pin. And once you get one in, it will hold the assembly together. And you'll just have to slightly compress to get the other one in place. Once the, both pins are secured, do make sure to take a center punch and just press them fully to where they're completely seated. If you don't do this, um, you could run into the risk of actually stripping out the uh, washer as you go to uh, tighten this down. Um, you could actually strip this nut out. Um, and then you have no way to secure this to the, the clutch pedal assembly. Next you're going to want to install the firewall seal, like so. And then go ahead and test fit the ring. Make sure that you don't have any kind of binding issues before you install it into the car. It should spin very, very easily. Next we're going to go ahead and show you um, if you have purchased the aluminum upgrade arm, uh, the order in which you need to install this. At this point, if you're reusing the plastic arm, this is ready to go into the car. Just attach your clutch line down here on this end. You're going to reuse your other banjo bolt um, and the brass washers. Just install that into the end of the master assembly. Install your reservoir line here with the hose clamp that's provided. And then install into the clutch pedal assembly. Attach the plastic arm onto the clutch pedal um, after you slide the ring on, obviously. And then torque the ring down with um, a uh, Allen wrench or screwdriver, or whatever you can fit into there to uh, get you the proper uh, uh, leverage on this um, to tighten it up against the clutch pedal 